Okay, so far we created these rocks by using um, function editor. And we also play with all these different properties. So if you go in inside function editor, you again, you can play more around just to try to readjust and see how they all work for you. So smaller or larger scale. So we can create all of this very interesting effects. Okay. Now I want to add some coloring to this and we have it again a few options we can do with this so we can go inside and right here we have our color property so we actually can go and create a special color map and if we look on this one let's go to edit this color map and as a color map we can have all these different colors so we can apply to our object so let's go to select one and maybe go down select kind of greenish bluish whatever the color so add these gradients and again if we need add new key we can click and select new key color or just double click double time and you know what let's create maybe right there we'll go new key color create a little bit different new key color something even darker kind of so we can add all of this cool looking colors okay when we're done we apply this now color map to this um, okay but you notice because right here we have a constant number the color does not change so we want to connect this color map maybe to our combiner so let's go before filter or actually we can do even after filter so right here we just go and connect to our output and notice how it's changed so now colors will apply with our output and our output it's a similar so we can actually take and modify our colors and you can see right here how they look so let's go again click on our map and we'll go to edit color map here and as example, we also can take some of these colors and make ridiculously bright. Okay. So you can see on a map print where it's coming. So right here we have this red creating. So you can see how with our distribution, the positioning of those, we can create all these different areas, different highlighting as well. Okay, let me go back here and just switch back or add something else so we can modify coloring oh, we, you know what we don't need those anymore so let's delete them and again this is kind of basic we're going you can go as complex as you want it create all these filters can you get additional altitude or other properties to this but principle is this we're creating color map we're using our different fractals to creating shapes and we're making these colors assigned to our object based on the shape of this object. So this is good and we're creating this meta blob. The nice things also about meta blob that right here you can see we have those elements and we can still adjust them. If you want expand a little bit far away or closer, bring higher or down, you can still using this. The only one problem to keep it as a meta blob it is um, calculations and also when you start working with placement some object it is need to recalculate so because we still have it all this object kind of as original we created the displacement on this object need recalculating um, if we going and add some ecosystem materials to this then we need enable and set place in properly way and it's take longer time so what actually i like to do after i'm done kind of creating this object i like to bake it together it will reduce amount of polygons in some cases you will lose details depend on the resolution but in this case you created object fully created with polygons applied that you can actually save it and use it even in other applications so to do this, we'll go right click, we'll go to um, option and it says bake to the polygon. Again, you need special special model to um, module to do this. 
So again, um, if you don't have it, don't worry, you can save as a meta blob. But if you do, I do recommend for you. And I'm going to increase because if I'm going very low, it will be very low polygons. I want pop up at least a little bit over 80. Um, remember, the higher you're going, the longer it will take time to process and based on your machine. So let's go leave it about 80. We click OK and you can see right here it start processing. So it's creating all of those polygons for the object based on a displacement. Let me pause these tutorials and come back when it's this processing is completed. OK, so it's complete baking and you can see right here we have it one full object. So let's go click and preview and depend on the resolution of your um, object some details you may missing or some effect. So right here, for example, on the resolution, you can see right here triangle. I have some artifacts. It was created by the baking together. So I need it probably go back and change it so I can increase decrease resolution based on that what I want to do. But again, this was before and you can see the some resolution on this and when it's baking will last some of the details because 80 percent and also we have some artifacts from creating those polygons so using experiment playing with this see how much it's work on your object oh we could remove this if you have the problem by increasing resolution uh, but it will take a little bit longer time to render okay but again, if you don't like it, just press Control Z or Command Z and we can go back to our previous. So it's nice things about it is remember those states, even you bake. So if you don't like it, you can revert anytime. And remember, always just save your work as you're going. Just click and save it. So in this case, you have it steps you can follow through. OK, so we'll look on how we can bake it. But other things I mentioned before, um, what if you want to leave it as Meta blob, what if you don't have it? How we can play some of this object on the surface? Because what's happening if I go inside and I'm adding additional material on top, like for example, I want to add grass. Let's go to create ecosystem. Okay. And right here in ecosystem, we're going to um general, we'll go to add and let's go to grasses. And you know what? Let's just select um, some grass, maybe right there. Longer grass. Okay, and if I populated this right now, it will populating kind of funny. It will floating right. You can see right here in this element. See right, right there. It's a floating above the displacement, and it's what happened because we change shape with meta blobs in displacement. So we kind of need to modify this. And if we're going back to our base where we have a displacement, right here we have it our also effect where we can affect material distribution. Okay. And also um, additional properties. So if we do this way, let's go back and populate. So this way, it will also take some calculations. Okay, and one thing else I want to be sure right there, move ecosystem instance is enabled. Okay, so let's go click OK. Preview at this time. And as it render, you can see our ecosystem is moved and it's placed it along our displacement line. So this is what I want. Okay, let's actually create some scenery. So I'm going to take my main camera move it a little bit out maybe just even adjusting okay let's go create a layer of the water so we want to have it some ocean and uh, sometimes when water is a little bit closer to the surface and we have a light surface it does not look very it's look too muddy so we need to change our ground color to something more suitable to this let's go open material editor and we're going to landscape grass. It will work very well in this case because it will create this green underlay. So if you want to create green, if we want to create a blue one, we can always go back to the grass, select just blue color. 
and you can see we can kind of simulate this blue color underwater so we can play a little bit more with those settings around there okay let's take our main camera bring even a bit closer to water surface like almost we in a boat bring right around here okay we'll go on our meta blob open more for our materials and i'm going on this grass let's go you know what let's go add something else and we can add all these different um type of the plants and this is what i recommend for you i recommend to add as more we add more interesting more mix it will look around creating very natural look so we'll go there and you know let's add maybe some other plants so we have aerial let's go add this one i know some of them maybe not even grow together but they look interesting when you place them right around there okay around let's go set our density higher we have a very green island here also i want to enable lean out so we'll go and scale and right there lean out so they kind of start going let's let me show you so we're going all the way look on those edges when we start they kind of start hanging out like almost fall from the island so it's look kind of interesting more natural or effective okay let's go ahead render okay, and it's start getting kind of more interesting i think also i want to add maybe green moss on some areas right there around rock and for this we'll go to create another layer so let's work with this in the next portion of this tutorial